Yeah, and it's not just like a, a light class of guys too. It's like rambunctious guys. And the girls are all good though. They're all like nice, sweet, quiet girls, you know? So I think what we do next time is like put them in their little groups. And then... Mark Lafayette, can you please report <clears throat> to Dr. Richardson's office? Mark Lafayette, please report to Dr. Richardson's office. All right, so we're gonna do the difference quotient. Well, we're gonna simplify the difference quotient. So rather than making this very, very confusing, I'm gonna to try to make this as simplistic as possible. Um, we see this crazy stuff right here. F of X plus H minus F of X all over H. It's just like, why am I doing this? Why do I have to do this? Let's, um, let's try to simplify this as much as possible. First of all, let's just try to remember, if I was gonna find um, F of one, right? I would plug one in for all my X values. Correct, if I wanted to evaluate this. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's just try to think of this this way. They're saying, well, rather than evaluating for f of one, they want me to evaluate for f of x plus h. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna multiply x plus h squared minus two times x plus h. Do you follow me? See what I did? All right. So let's go ahead and figure what, what this is gonna be. All right, remember x, x plus h squared. Um, I'll do, I'll break this down really good. x h, x plus h, x times x is x squared, x times h is x h, x times h is x h. Mr. Cutter, can you h please times call h is Klein h squared. Mr. Cutter, please call Ms. Klein at 1038. All right, so when I factor that binomial, or when I expand that binomial, I now get four times x squared plus two xh plus h squared. Follow me. So minus, now, uh, let's just rewrite this, two x plus h. Now what I have is, I can now do my distributive property, right? This is like a lot of steps. But the steps, hopefully you can follow, there's nothing Knew we're doing it. I know it's like crazy, but we're just following steps. So just straight property. Four times x squared is four x squared plus eight x h plus four h squared minus two x minus two h. It's pretty big, isn't it? It's a lot. But do you see what I have there? Does that make sense? Yeah. So that is this. I just did that, right? You see what I did? Yeah. I just did one part of it. Okay. So as I said, take this, what this was, this huge thing, and then it said subtract f of x. Well, what was my f of x? That's four x squared minus two x. So I take four x squared, I'm just gonna rewrite it all over again. xh plus four h squared minus two x minus two h minus f of x, which is 4x squared Kelly Click, please call the main office. Miss Click, please call the main office. <clears throat> so you're gonna do negative 4x, of course, right there in the video. See, negative 4x minus 4x squared minus 2x. Well, that can be, I can distribute that negative sign to make this a negative 4x plus 2x squared, all right? See where I'm at. Now, that's that, okay? So now I got that done. Well, what we're gonna do, and what you can see is, those are options, right? Those cancel out. Got me? These are options. These cancel out, right? So when I finish up this top here, I'm only left with a four H squared plus 8xh minus 2h. Follow me. Then we gotta put it over h. Right? Well now what we notice is, I can now simplify, I can divide this h into all of these. So what I can do is I can cancel these h's, cancel out, cancels out, and cancels out. Right? Come on. So therefore, my final answer is 4h plus 8x minus 2, and where h cannot equal 0. So 
that's how I learned it. What? It's a good thing. You're right.